Whoa. We are here this morning, about to do some awesome stone work. Got Ethan here to help me out. The man, the myth, the legend. And we're already running into some problems. We got a truck that won't start, probably just a battery thing. Jump start it. You never know what a day is gonna bring, but hey, that's all right. Just gotta roll with it. Might be pretty dead. Has it ever done this before? No. That was not the problem. We still don't know what the problem is, but we're gonna just gonna have to just use one truck today. Well, we were able to rescue one truck, but not two trucks. Sorry, Ethan. It's okay. We'll figure it out later today. Level, two shovels, brakes, this guy. Where in the world did this come from? You think Jonah gave it to us? It must have been Jonah. It's a beautiful day. It's supposed to be like 50, 60 degrees. That's always nice this time of year. And we're off. Are we recording? We're recording. Oh, right. Hey, so today, Ethan, the goal is number one, to have fun. You gotta have fun. If we're not having fun, why are we even doing all this stuff? Sometimes work has like parts of it that are tough and you don't always wanna do it, but I think in general, we can have joy and fun no matter what we're doing, as long as it's an ethical job. So, we're gonna have fun. Number two, we're gonna bless this family with a wonderful job. Number three, the job that we're actually doing is a stone uh, perimeter going around their front yard uh, bed. So essentially we're tucking the bed in with some, some rocks and we're going to be putting in some uh, more s soil in the back, putting first a, a base of gravel and then put the stones in. We want to make sure we don't just do it like a DIY project. We want to do it, you know, in the way that is, um, is high quality. So that's the goal is high quality work with using our level to keep it nice and level and yeah it's always what we do we do do uh, the best we can with what we got all right we'll see you there just start low okay folks here we got this is what we got we got this bed here Cutting it in around here and coming around. Of course, this is this is pretty mounted up already, as you can see. So we're gonna be using some of that to backfill, but also trying to keep it nice and high. So we're coming around, da -da -da, goes through here and then wraps around to right there. Actually, comes to this corner. That is the plan. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. First thing is to cut it in. Today's video is going to be a bit of a tutorial, so I'm going to help you all know how to create a rock border for your gardens or your landscapes. First thing you want to do is find the spot that you want to have your garden. You may not even have soil in your garden or your landscape, but my recommendation is find the spot and then mark out the shape, the general shape that you want it to be. Now this is a landscape bed, but if this was a garden, you would want to make your beds approximate size to where you can reach to the middle so that would be usually around two and a half two feet but then again if you're making a larger bed then you can go ahead and make it as big as you want because you're going to be walking in it so this here what i did was i marked it off and then i started digging and what we're shooting for this is grade and we're shooting for two inches below grade so this is going to be two inches lower that means we're going to be able to have two to three inches of of crush around the gravel and then on top of the gravel, we'll be putting the stones. And then after we put the stones, we'll backfill with gravel. If you don't backfill with gravel, that means the soil is going to start pushing on the wall, which can make it fall over. Clay especially can stain the stones to where it comes out and it doesn't look good. So you want to have a backfill 
of at least four inches for a small wall like this, but maybe more like six for, for any higher than like a foot. Got it. it. Ain't the lightest stuff. That's good right there. That's Perfect. Much. No, that's great. Okay. So as you can see, we're already starting this first row. And what you want to do is make the outside, the side that keeps uh, straight in the inside, it's okay if it's jagged or anything because that's not going to be so much of an issue. But the outside you want to make sure you keep straight. And then you can lay it all down but then come back in and straighten it. See like right here, I'm going to need to pull that in a little bit actually. Move it in. Make sure this one's not too far out. Now it's looking a little better. See this little spot right there? And still need to move that in some. And then after we're done with this first row, we're gonna put gravel all along the back there, which will give support for these next stones that we put down. Now there are two ways that we could have done this. We could have done it to where all the stones are completely level, just like the brick on the house. Level, level, level. And that means they would stair step going up. But the way we decided was to just follow the grade, keep it consistent. If we had a dip right there, that would eventually show and we don't want to have that. We want to have it just a consistent slope going down all the way around. Ethan just leveled this out and then we'll be coming by with these, a stone just to compact it. Compact it down. He's going to get some more gravel. I'm making him do all the hard work. Apparently Ethan is backfilling. We have the first row down and he's backfilling along there with the crush run. And we're trying to get it to where it's gonna be right at the same height as the first row, the next row. And it's got that support underneath it. As I'm doing these, I am trying to use the smaller pieces that are all broken and stuff on the bottom because I know we're gonna backfill and there's gonna be plenty of support back there. So I'd rather use these pieces that are, that are not gonna be beautiful for the top layer. I'd rather use them on the bottom because the only thing that's exposed is this right here. So the outside is what is exposed and all the times I'll go along and I'll see if I like the look of one of these outsides and make sure it's exposed. Also, like, see uh, see right here, I'm using, see this stone right here? I'm trying to use this long side. Could use this side, this side, this side, but this is the longest side. So I'm using that on the outside just to make the maximum amount of length because there's no reason in wasting rock for just, um, just because it's in the wrong angle. So I'm putting it on the long side and then going along that way because the only thing that's exposed is this. This is gonna be at least two layers high. So the next layer is what I'm gonna really focus in on to put in a nice bigger stone. Okay, we're doing the second layer here. Always try to do it to where they're gonna cross over. They're gonna fall in between the gap there. So it's more structurally sound. 
just means more friction, more contact between different surfaces, which is going to mean a stronger, more fortified. Like I said before, try to use the longer sides. See how this has a higher point? I'm going to flip that over. Use the higher point right here so that it matches up. It gives me a better, better look overall. It keeps it level. As we stack these, each layer I'm trying to put a little bit further back in, about a quarter to a half inch. So this layer right here is a little bit further out than this one is. We come in every layer a little bit. That helps with the structural support because as, the, as all this soil pushes, it's going to tend to make it topple if it's just straight up and down, especially on a wall like this. It's lunchtime, folks. About to go get some lunch. And we'll be right back at it. There it is. There's the rest of it. Kaboom. And we're off to the races again. Ready for this? Ready. We're back on site. Let's see how it's going. All right. It's coming together. As you're doing your wall, you can go ahead and use the pieces of pieces that you don't want or haven't uh, haven't really used. You're not going to use use those to backfill. Like this is some piece of random concrete stuff, putting it back there, backfill. And then of course we're doing the gravel along the back, but it's just a nice little trick to, to put them back there and put them to use. But yeah, it's all coming together here. Coming together, we've got some more layers to do, but you can see it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. What we found out here is that I wanted to do one more row. These stones had already been put on top. These are the bigger ones that I wanted to have on the top, but then I realized I wanted to go higher, so cut those off. Gonna put this row on there just to get it one more row high. Already backfilled to it, and then we'll put these back on. And just to make sure it's a nice, nice height for what they're trying to do here. What year were you born? 2000. Why <laughs> is that funny? <laughs> I, always think, I don't know. I think it's, I think it's funny that. I think it's cool that I was born in the 19 something something. Cool, you were born in 2002. You're, you're proud. 2000 is pretty Bible. cool. <laughs> I am proud of that. Yep, you're right, because it's, it's worthy of being proud of. All right. Ethan is getting some of this good soil from in there, putting it right on the outside of this bed here so that we can have, not have any of these rocks exposed. You can see he's got rocks right here, so we're trying to in some nice good soil all around the outside so the grass will go right up to the rocks. This right here was the only stone we didn't use. That's because it was too big. What do you think, Ethan? Oh, Knocked it, it out. Was, it was great. It was great. great to... Beautiful day. Felt like springtime. Such great weather. And I think we did a good job. Did the best job we could, right? Right. A little bugs fun. But yeah, good times. Good times. It's looking good. We did about let's see, one, two, three, four, five. About five or six layers on the lower end and then it you know tapers off but now you can see how it looks whenever you follow the grade versus if it was just straight across it would be more of a stair step just two different ways to do it like I said if you're doing garden areas 
you want to be able to do to reach across and get at your uh, uh, crops about two and a half to two feet but if you're doing something more like this where it's just a, uh, a landscape bed then make it bigger and then within that you'll you know you'll have your plants you buy rocks buy mulch <laughs> oh man good times we will see you guys next time on the garden guard channel god bless <laughs>